Yeah. Life without you been feeling kind of strange. Well, I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you looking very well. I miss the way your perfume smell. I miss the way that you blow up my line just to make sure that I'm feeling well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be installing and styling this hair from Eunice. This is their 5x5 closure unit. Um, this is their body wave hair and it's in 40 inches. This is also HD lace and it is listed on their um, site as pre-plucked. So I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like if you did not pluck the hair and just put it on. So I did not pluck it but I did bleach the knots on this unit. And you guys just saw me putting some makeup on that lace to just help it blend in with my skin. And now I'm going and with some ghost bond and just spreading that all around the hairline. So this is my first time working with a closure in a long time. So I did have a little bit of trouble with it. I'm not going to lie just because I wasn't used to um, just laying this little section. I think the next time I do it, I'll have the hang of it. But it was a little bit strange at first trying to get it on and position it just because I'm so used to frontals. But I made it work, of course. So now I'm just going in with the comb and just pressing that lace into my scalp. And then I'm going to be going in with some got to be glue spray and just spraying that all over their hairline and then I'm also gonna go in with some liquid mousse and spray that on the hairline as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie that down so that it can melt So before we get into styling, I just want to show you guys what the hair looked like as a whole and just show you guys the quality of it while I detangle it. If you guys see that little like orange or brown section right there, some bleach fell on the hair while I was bleaching the knots and I did not notice. So yeah, that's all that is. But the hair was super full and it was so beautiful and flowy. But now we're about to go ahead and start to section off the hair so that we can begin styling. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with some Chiso Confusion and I'm gonna put about a quarter size amount on that section of hair just so that when I begin to put heat on it, it's super silky and flowy. So y'all already know what time it is. I got my hot comb and I'm going over my part and just making sure everything is flat and there's no lumps or bumps in my hair. Period. So now I'm just gonna section off my hair in a smaller section and then I'm gonna begin to style. I'm using a wand curl for this process and I got this from my local beauty supply store. It's nothing special or fancy. Um, I don't even know what inch the barrel is but I will have it in the description box for you guys. And I'm gonna be using a got to be hairspray to hold my curls. So I'm just spraying that all over the hair. And then I'm just not doing any type of fancy way. I'm just wrapping the hair around the wand. And you guys can see that I messed up a little bit. But I'm just re-wrapping it. And that's all I'm doing. Leaving it there for about 10 seconds. Um, and then I'm going to drop it, hold it, and let it go.
Okay, so now I'm taking a hot comb and just going over the edges and the roots of this hair and just making sure everything is super flat before I start on the next section. But then after that, I'm just gonna go in and do the same exact process that I did on the other side on this side. Okay, so now that I'm done wand curling this side of my head, I'm gonna go ahead and just comb out all of the wand curls. So I'm gonna start with the right side. And y'all, do y'all see that perfect wave? I've always wondered for the life of me, like how do people get that perfect wave? And it's really with a wand curler, you just have to use a big one. And that's exactly how the curls are gonna come out when you comb them out. But unfortunately, the left side of my head just wasn't feeling it. So then I got the amazing idea to go ahead and use these charms that I had bought um, a couple weeks back and do the bohemian style um, like look with the braids and the hair and all of that. But you guys will see that a little bit later. But this is when I was like, okay, this side is just not giving what it was supposed to give. So I really don't know why this side of my hair did not hold the curls the way that the other did. But, but here you would just see me recurling some of those pieces.
Okay, so now I'm taking off that elastic band and I'm just gonna go ahead and start to cut off this lace. Not in any special form, you guys know. I'm not really big on that. I'm just cutting off the lace in just the best way I know how, which is in a straight line. And then after that, it was like a small white cast over the hairline. I don't know if it was like the mixture of products within the glue, the spray, and then the other spray, the mousse, the liquid mousse, or what happened. But I did have to end up going back in with some liquid mousse and just taking that all over my hairline. That normally just fix it. So if you guys ever have problems with your lace, maybe looking ashy or looking a little bit light or just not matching in general, try to take some of this spray. Um, I forgot exactly where I got it from. I believe I got it from my beauty supply store. But it normally takes away any white cast or any gray cast that is on the lace. So just try that. And I'm just drying this up with a blow dryer. And then I'm going to start on my baby hairs. So I didn't know what look I was going for with the baby hairs. I didn't know if I wanted to go in a simple look. Because it is a, a completely different process in laying your baby hairs when you have a closure versus a frontal and I quickly learned that so I was just trying to test out different ways to do my baby hairs and you guys will see that in this video but overall I'm just taking out a little piece cutting it and then putting some got to be on it and then laying them the best way I know how but it was definitely a challenge it was definitely a learning experience for me and the baby hairs in this um, closure just overall and I was just playing around with it that's what you guys will see for the most part here I did take some tweezers around the hairline and just plucked a little bit to give it a more natural look. But with this hair being a pre-plucked unit, this is definitely an optional choice.
Okay, so right here is where I was just a little bit confused on what to do with the other side of my hair that just was not cooperating. Um, so I just pulled back that front piece of hair and then I'm like, should I twist it? Should I braid it? Should I secure it with an elastic band? Like, what should I do? And I'm just like, uh, I don't know. But then I ended up just braiding it into like a simple braid and securing it with a hair tie. And then you guys will see what I do with it a little bit further in the video to make it like more glamorized and make it look better. Um, so I just start by combing out that piece of hair and then just start braiding it as a simple braid. Okay, so I got these hair accessories, um, the little links from the beauty supply store, and then the other ones I got from Target. They are just regular hair accessories. And I'm just adding that to the braid to give it a different look. And I feel like it looks so freaking pretty. And I also added another braid on the other side and also put some jewels on the other side. But overall, all of these probably came up to probably under $5. Like all of these jewels were very cheap and they ended up being so cute on my hair. And I also know that you can order them from Amazon. So yeah, they ended up being so freaking cute in the braid and it gave it a whole different look. So guys, that's pretty much the finished look of this hair. This hair was so freaking beautiful. It was so long and flowy. I love the quality of this hair and this look was so pretty. I received so many compliments on it. I got told so many times, you look like Pocahontas. I don't think I look like Pocahontas, but if everybody else thought so, I guess that's just what we are gonna have to go with. But the hair ended up being so pretty and I was so happy with the outcome. The outfit I wore with this hair was super, super cute. It's on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. But overall, I just wanna say thank you guys um, for watching this video and thank you, Eunice, for sponsoring this video because this hair was completely gorgeous. All the links of this hair will be listed in the description box and thank you guys for watching.